Salty here, and welcome to another Salty Brew. Today's brew is just a simple uh, Paraxis Giant deck. Not much to it, really, because I was just bored looking around and, like, looking at Ramba. I'm like, you know what, let's make a Giant deck. It's very simple. Hope Pretty much the ideal is to play him on turn 3, maybe get some few damage in, reduce the cost. And, or even play your other Giants sooner using a... Uh, Heated Compromise, which I never actually got to use. And even though I have two copies of this in the deck, Leave Behind, where you put each unit into the bottom of the owner deck, you may spare one giant. I played this card more than anything, even though I have two copies. If I had to choose a card to get rid of in this deck, it would probably be the uh, other Ramba here. Not useful at all. Like, looking at all the giants. I would probably replace that with... This is obviously a better one, because it has Ambush and Overwhelm. Or even this one for Ramp. This would be fun, but at the same time, I find this to be too slow and too weak. Hell, I guess I even should have put this guy in, because if I get kills... And you, I probably could as well put some killer spells to get my unit killer. But this was just a simple deck for simple things. You'll probably have a better chance playing this deck in... Uh, what's the game mode? It's been a while. Gauntlet. My suggestion would probably be... Cut these out for killer spells. Maybe remove some of these. For... No, even the double damage could be nice. Maybe remove one or two mass for maybe yeah for more killer spells because the whole point of mass play that in turn two, then play Ramba. Attack with Ramba. To also proc that stuff. This card, which I, you never see play, was actually pretty decent in on the games I was playing with. You know, you attack exactly two units, deal four damage to the to the uh, to an enemy of your choice and tomb give the top two units of your deck plus four attack and charge the charge having getting a giant charge is always nice you know yeah not much else to say about this deck don't expect I'll win a lot just if you want to play casual and have some to play something different besides the meta why not give this deck a try if you have the dust for it obviously but yeah, not much else to say, so let's just get on with the clips, shall we? Nope, not this time. I already... Probably dealing with control beacon deck. Very least, this is probably gonna die. Watch. We have the control deck. One of the reasons why I don't want to play this game anymore. Control. Oh, yeah, for a second I thought I actually like, clicked this.
do they know? They probably will have a wipe. But then we can just play the uh, charger here. Okay, there. Okay, then. That's one way to surrender. Terrible hand, but we're gonna keep it. Savant. Oh, it's a beacon deck. Like, the last one I thought was a beacon deck, but... Uh, who knows? I 
Why can't this block? It's fine, they screwed themselves over by playing that one card, because now these things have overwhelm. Told myself not to do this, not to keep two power, just watch. And if I do get a power, it's probably not going to be another red. Yeah, I'm going to probably surrender if I don't get a third power, because this deck was not shuffled properly. And they just silenced this, this boy. And they didn't. What did they? This wasn't. What? Oh, the summon. I wonder if I'll ever get to choose what card. Probably what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna play this, play this to return all these to the bottom here. That sucks, but not much you can do about it. Yeah, just how it goes, I guess. Welcome to my
no idea why you surrendered. But okay. Definitely not keeping this, only two power. I'll probably discard this with uh, Catalyst. Sure, this would be nice to have, but it's dead weight right now. Oh, wow. A 150 deck, pretty much, and they had two of those in their starting hand. Yeah, yeah that's not annoying. Probably a bunch of kill spells for this fucker. Say goodbye, everybody. Yep, there it goes. Personal. But the only benefit from 150, this guy doesn't seem to be drawing any power. Let the ritual commence. <laughs> well, that's one good thing. For once, usually 150 you get to keep playing power or something, or to the end, they, he would also probably be spamming a bunch of kill spells, but luckily, that wasn't the case. Definitely not this hand. Yeah, this is probably not smart. But if we do play this, or get a third power. And also, we're going second, so maybe we'll draw a power by then. Okay, this looks this looks okay. 
now, because I got my third power. Play this, then this. But since this is a uh, Combray, they probably have control. Yeah. Control shit. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Probably have silence or wipes or sacrifice. The owl. Which we successfully silenced. Good thing this deck doesn't really have a lot of spells at the same time. We're probably dead because they're probably going to empower this. And then that's going to be whatever, yada yada yada. There we go, we lose. They got to nerf this again. And they're doing an emote. Okay, now this is too much power for what we need. Funny how they talk through that. Time quickens. Probably what we're gonna do is play that on that.
Just how it goes, I guess. Hey, Salty here, and welcome to another Salty Brew. Today's brew is just a simple uh, Paraxis Giant deck. Not much to it, really, because I was just bored looking around and, like, looking at Ramba. I'm like, you know what, let's make a Giant deck. It's very simple. Hopefully, pretty much the ideal is to play him on turn three, maybe get some few damage in, reduce the cost, and, or even play your other Giants sooner using a Heated Compromise, which I never actually got to use. And even though I have two copies of this in the deck, Leave Behind, where you put each unit into the bottom of the owner deck, you may spare one giant. I played this card more than anything, even though I had two copies. If I had to choose a card to get rid of in this deck, it would probably be the uh, other Ramba here. Not useful at all. Like, looking at all the giants... I would probably replace that with, this is obviously a better one because it has Ambush and Overwhelm. Or even this one for Ramp. This would be fun, but at the same time I find this to be too slow and too weak. Hell, I guess I even should have put this guy in, because if I get kills, and you, I probably could as well put some killer spells to get my unit killer. But this was just a simple deck for simple things. You'll probably have a better chance playing this deck in, uh... What's the game mode? It's been a while. Gauntlet. My suggestion would probably be cut these out for killer spells. Maybe remove some of these. For... No, even the double damage could be nice. Maybe remove one or two masks for, yeah, for more killer spells because... The whole point of mass, play that in turn two, then play Ramba. Attack with Ramba. To also proc that stuff. This card, which I, you never see play, was actually pretty decent in on the games I was playing with. You know, you attack exactly two units, deal four damage to the to, the, uh, to an enemy of your choice, and tomb, give the top two units of your deck plus four attack and charge. The charge having getting a giant with charge is always nice, you know? Yeah, not much else to say about this deck. Don't expect to win a lot. Just if you want to play casual and have some to play something different besides the meta, why not give this deck a try? If you have the dust for it, obviously. But yeah, not much else to say. So let's just get on with the clips, shall we?